Hello everyone, this is Dr. Santosh, Consultant Intensivist, DRM Hospital, Mysore. Today I am going to talk about stroke, which is the second leading cause of death all over the world. Uh, the incidence is almost 100 to 150 per 1 lakh population uh, suffering from stroke every year. Basically, uh, stroke means there is a sudden blood flow which is hampered in the brain. It can be due to a clot formation in the blood vessel which is supplying the brain. Mainly, the symptoms are because of the, the brain which is affected, the part of the brain which is affected will be mattering a lot. So, for a layman, we call it as FAST. F, F stands for face, A stands for arm, S stands for speech and T for timing. Basically, any deviation in the face or any awkward movements of the face along with not able to lift any one or two of the arms on either side and slurring of speech uh, and timing of that all the symptoms uh, is the mnemonic for fast. If they can recognize this and come to a doctor as early as possible, stroke is reversible. This is the idea behind this talk. As an intensivist, my role in stroke is when the patient comes in a window period. Window period in the sense where stroke is reversible. That is generally considered as 3 hours from the time of last symptom, okay, last onset of symptom. And basically the age group which are high risk for this are elderly with comorbid conditions like diabetes, hypertension, hyperlipidemia and other cardiac conditions certain times even we call it as embolic stroke. Uh, heart arrhythmia can also cause stroke, okay. And even we are seeing in young age group because of the personal habits smoking, alcohol consumption, okay. And these strokes are generally preventable if reached to the hospital at time. Once the patient reaches to the hospital at time, these patients will be given a drug called thrombolysis. Uh, there are certain major indication, contraindications and minor contraindications. Basically, the major contraindication is any recent major surgery like bypass surgery or any major intra-abdominal surgery and patient who is already on blood thinners and any recent brain surgeries okay and minor uh, uh, contraindications like uncontrolled diabetes hypertension and other contraindications so once patient reaches to the emergency room with this uh, stroke team is alerted and and uh, depending on the availability in the hospital, whether that the hospital has a CT or MRI, we tend to do a neuroimaging within minutes and come to a conclusion that this stroke is not a hemorrhagic stroke. So once this patient is considered as a non-hemorrhagic stroke and in the window period, after ruling out all the contraindications, we thrombolyze this patient using thrombolytic therapy, mainly altipase or tenecteplase, depending on the physician's choice and the patient's condition. So, once this stroke is thrombolyzed based on the baseline NIHS score, then this patient is tend to improve within 24 to 48 hours. So we have seen patients improving within 48 hours of onset of stroke with complete resolution of neurological deficits. So I would like to urge the people to early recognition of the stroke symptoms and reaching the hospital with a facility for stroke management and thrombolysis facility. So, this will save the life and this is going to change the world. Thank you.